Hello, hello, and welcome everybody to Fallout New Vegas. Um, my first playthrough on the channel is going to be a fucking long one. But, um, we'll just take it steady. We'll just take it as it goes. Playing on very hard, of course. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just get right on into it. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Yeah. 
That's the biggest mistake Chandler's ever going to make. Ooh, goodies. Gotta love how all of these pop-ups just completely ruin the intro. Y yeah, You're thank you. Awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a sec? Get your bearings. Uh, Let's your lips are moving, buddy. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh... Doc Mitchell. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. <laughs> hey, me too. Good springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework. You'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. It feels like he's communicating with me telepathically. I don't like this. How'd I do? Um, absolutely fucking terrible. First of all... I, I don't know why. I've always liked playing as a black person in this game. I think it's because they're the easiest to make look, like, human. <laughs> the character creator in this game is not very good. Yeah. Like an old guy. Eh, like middle-aged guy. Okay. Do I want to mess around with my face that much? I don't really know. I could just make a mutant. <laughs> eh. Nah, I'll just move on to my hair. I don't like to spend too much time on the... Oh my god, I, should I be a tunnel snake? I don't like to spend too much time on the... Jesus! On the character creator. Buzz cut. What the... <laughs> the unsettler. I just look like a greasy loser with that haircut. It's funny, because that's probably the closest to my hair in real life, though, as I say that. <laughs> High riser. God, yeah, the... <laughs> the... Blast back. Sure, why not? We'll go with the blast back. I think we're gonna keep the chopper, though. That's what I got? Yeah, the chopper. Black hair. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Most of it right anyway. You got Start nothing. You got my race wrong, okay. buddy. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Dude, this is starting to Take freak me out. Your lips are moving. Race. I think you're the one that needs brain surgery, buddy. And I'm pretty sure it is a race. Yeah, reading glasses. Get that Sunset Sarsaparilla. Get started early on the Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap Challenge. Whatever the fuck that thing's called. Give me the blood bag. Nope, give me the blood bag. Uh. Looking good so far. Mm -hmm, don't mind me. I'm just gonna take all your stuff there. <laughs> Alright, good enough. Alright, so for my character... Here, let me just put these points all in, and then I will explain everything later. I get that most people have probably played this game and are familiar with it, but whatever. I do four strength in this game, and then with my first perk, I pick up intense training to move it up to five and then that combined with the strength implant combined with the perk weapon handling i think it's called allows me to then wield the anti-material rifle effectively which is the only 
like strength requirement weapon words <laughs> that I that I really care about. It's the biggest and it's the biggest strength requirement. I think the riot shotgun too is only like one strength lower and I love that gun too. Perception four and no I mean just kinda there. Eight endurance, obviously gotta have lots of endurance. Charisma one, because charisma's a useless fucking stat. Speech is very important in this game, but I just go with charisma one and then pick speech as one of my tagged skills, and then you're good to go. Just throw speech 100. Uh, nine intelligence, obviously, for um, skill points. And then as soon as I can, I get that um, intelligence implant as well. Eight agility, because action points, gotta have action points. And luck, because criticals are awesome. And that's everything. Huh. Must be some frontal lobe damage. Fuck you. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and drop. What do you say you take a seat in my car and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. What kind of... What kind of saying is that is that like a southern thing all right oh my god this is so fucking weird <laughs> i want you to say the first thing that comes to mind dog i hope this is just him i hope we're not gonna have a playthrough of ventriloquist talking at me uh dinner house uh target night silencer i don't know okay bandit uh, reasonable. Light. Inspiration. Mother. Human shield. Mm. Sometimes when you give tests like this, you're more than <laughs> hoping for, and I reckon that ain't always the best. Thing. <laughs> but I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. Absolutely false. Strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Strongly disagree. I'm always fixing to be the center. Oh of shit! I answered that last one wrong. Whatever. Uh, strongly disagree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. No, I'm pretty. I'm, I had nine intelligence there, buddy. Strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Sure. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Uh, an oozing wound. Okay. How about this one? <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to say what it. Oh, Jesus. Last one. A bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Sounds good to me. Okay. Science lockpick and speech. Ideally, I could tag guns as well, but I'm more concerned with these skills because they're the most common skill checks. Obviously, speech. Obviously, hacking, luck picking. Yeah, I don't think I have to explain that. <laughs> Done. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. What if you do, though? Oh, sh ah, Jesus Christ, my mouse is going kind of crazy. Wild Wasteland, and I don't know, none of these other traits have ever really appealed to me. Sometimes I'll pick up, um, what is it? Four Eyes? But, I don't know, Perception's not that useful. Where did, good natured. Good natured might be. Actually, yeah, I think I might do good natured. Yeah. That's not bad. Done. I 
All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Okay. You a hunter there, Doug? Actually, wait, do I have enough repair to get this submachine gun now? Hey, nice. Footlocker. Hmm. Just take everything, we'll sell it all. Well, not everything. Money's not that important in this game, because once you get to New Vegas, just get banned from all the casinos and you'll have like 25,000 caps by the end of that. It takes forever though, it's very, very tedious just <laughs> doing roulette over and over again. I think that blackjack might be the way to go, but I don't know, I I don't like to, I don't want to have to think about it that much, I just like to throw roulette on and just go and go and go. Yeah. These are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought Dude, you're freaking me out. Move your lips. <laughs> but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. Ah. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for my mouse keeps modesty. freezing. It's weird. Never was much my style anyway. Uh, what do I do now? You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Uh, I'll do my best. Uh, now hardcore mode, it's... I don't know, it's probably more entertaining to watch a hardcore playthrough, but... I've never actually played hardcore, it just seems like a lot of tedious bullshit that I don't want to deal with. Stimpax healing over time, like, that's definitely pretty hardcore. But everything else, like ammunition having weight, dehydration, it doesn't seem like it... I don't know, it just seems like a lot of, like I said, a lot of tedious bullshit. So, I think for now I'm gonna go not hardcore. Maybe in the future I will do a hardcore character. But... Maybe on a live stream or something, that could be fun, but for now, nope. Alright. Ah. Now all my DLC pop-ups, oh my god. As annoying as that can be, it is kind of fun to, uh... So what am I going for? To have everything pop up like that? Sit. I don't. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Actually, uh, leather armor. Give me that hat. Reading glasses. Why not? Stimbex. Nine mil pistol. Mercenaries grenade rifle, shotgun. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'd love to put the radio on. I don't know if I can listen to the radio. Is that is that gonna get me copyright struck? I'll leave it off just in case. Uh what do we got? Back in the saddle, they went that way. Whoa, okay. What even is the Gunrunners? Like, I know the Gunrunners store up in... Up uh, near Vegas, but... What even is the... Gunrunners Arsenal DLC? Is that all the challenges that pop up in the top left? I've honestly never been too sure. Hey, Victor, we'll talk to you later. I quick save like a motherfucker in this game, so you're gonna see that shit 
pop up very, very often. Oh no, I lost karma. Salesman. You're definitely going to want to get all the sarsaparilla you can. Because when you drink it, you have a chance to get um one of the sunset uh, sarsaparilla star bottle caps. And you need, I don't remember how many, but there's a certain amount, oh, Jesus, certain amount you need for the quest that involves them. I don't remember what it's called. And the reward for that quest isn't great, but I think you get, ah, shit, I think you get a lot of XP for it. I've only ever actually completed it once. Because most of the time I don't bother, but might do it this time. Really? See, this is annoying in New Vegas. They added this if you ever... This little buffer, I guess, if you have to restart hacking. So, I guess it's good. It's a little more balanced than Fallout 3, where you could just, like, pick random shit power and then go back in until you get it, but... I don't know. I feel like most people will probably do that anyways and just kind of waste their time. That's my opinion, though. Duds, duds, duds. Oop. See, I, I do like the hacking in Fallout. It's probably one of my favorite hacking minigames in any game. Um, the one in... Deus Ex, Human Revolution, Mankind Divided is also pretty good. The Bioshock one is good, but overused. Ooh, okay. Uh, but this one, especially when you when you get your skill up higher, I think it it's it's not perfect, but it's not bad. Is this? Hunters? Shit, I already picked that. Ah, that was a risky move, but I got it. Disengage lock. Ah. That's good enough. Sunny smiles, what do you guys say? Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Uh, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Don't disrespect me like that. I know what I'm doing. Ooh. Ooh, my recording is looking a little stuttery. I hope that's just preview. Yeah, I hope that's just the preview doing that. Okay. Um, got a little sidetracked there. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No, if that's not a good idea. <laughs> that Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Which one? I'm Doc Mitchell. The best part about this guy is he doesn't give a shit if you just steal all this stuff. See, he doesn't even care. I guess I won't steal the empty stuff. It's kind of pointless. <laughs> you cool? Alright. Shit, come on. Let's dunk this on his head. Shit! <laughs> nope. Nope. 
damn it, it just clips through him. That's lame. Alright. Uh, no one can get back. Jesus Christ! You just kicked the shit out of him? These physics. I don't even know what to say about that. Alright. Interesting. <laughs> uh, more sunset sarsaparilla. Hey, Sunny. Now, see the sarsaparilla box. Ooh. Let me just go ahead and. Oh, I'm in the fence there. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh my god. That's the right idea. Try crouching down and see. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Uh, I'm in it for the experience. Let's do Follow it. Me. It's just down to the southeast of short ways. Oh yeah, I should probably mention now. I'm mostly just... Or, this game is vanilla right now. I have a few mods, but they're all just stability mods. Like I have the the unofficial New Vegas patch, I think. It's been a long time since I messed around with it, but yeah, I did the New Vegas patch. Uh, New Vegas anti-crash. I have the stutter remover. No, wait. No, it's not stutter remover. What the hell's the other one? Tick fix. Yeah, I have the New Vegas tick fix. Um, and then I did the, um, quad core compatibility going to the I and I file. I don't remember. I don't, it's been a while since I messed around with my game, but yeah, it's all vanilla except for stuff to make it not crash every four minutes like it does out the box. Um, that's just kind of the way I like to play games. I, I don't, I've never found any mods, at least, that, um, that really seem like they would improve the experience to me. I'm much for the dev intended experience. The there? We got some geckos to clear out. But that's Bunch just me. Monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Maybe one day I'll get into mods, but I don't know. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. I don't know, it all just seems a bit too... I don't know what- I'm gonna stop talking, I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Shit. Ah, uh, come on. Up, Sonny. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Uh, yeah. Shouldn't take more than a couple Yeah, of I minutes, can use caps. Especially with two of us. Need come to start that me. gambling fun somehow. Kill the geckos at the wells. Yes, I can do that. Well, maybe I can't. That was... I had some bad aim back there. The recording is looking better. Hopefully... Okay. Oh boy. God. See, I this game's so much better than Fallout 4, if only because the, how the criticals work. Cause you can just make an overpowered build that gets criticals every other hit. I guess that's maybe why Fallout 4 did that, but... I don't know, Fallout 4 sucks. It doesn't suck, but I don't like it. For the longest time, I was a ride-or-die Fallout 3 fanboy, and I definitely still would say... Jesus Christ, she's going ham. Um, I definitely would say that I like Fallout 3 
more than most people. But only recently have I really come around to the New Vegas train here and saying, and basically in agreeing that this is the best Fallout game. Um, I've never played Fallout 1 or I should, or I should say I've never beaten Fallout 1 or 2. I've played them. So I don't know how valid my opinion is, but yeah. Basically, I like Fallout 3, but New Vegas I like more. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, I couldn't hurt. Right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Sounds good. <laughs> oh my god, she. Your health isn't even that low. What are you limping for? We'll go to the schoolhouse first, because I Howdy. think. I, I think you can find. A shovel there, maybe? And with the shovel, you can search the graves up in the um, graveyard. And I think there's quite a bit of uh, loot up there. Don't really remember, though. It's like a... Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> we've gotten invisible. What? Jesus Christ. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Um... Yeah, clearly not, because you have a camo index of 100%, dude. <laughs> that was interesting. I don't really know what to make of that. <laughs> Is this Victor Shack? Shit, didn't mean to hit that. What do you got stored in here, Victor? Ooh, weapon repair kit. Every time I play this game, I always just loot like every piece of electronics off the bag because I can never remember what exactly it is that you need to repair um, Eddie once you get to Prim. I think you need like scrap electronics, scrap metal, and a sensor module maybe. I don't remember. Maybe a couple sensor modules. Shit. Jesus. Come on. Alright. Jesus. <gasps> See, this is why... Wait, what, what am I trying to say? The fact that I can't even hit these guys, and I think my gun skill is probably like 9 or something at the moment. That's why you don't need to bother putting points... Well, I shouldn't say that. You don't need to put like a whole, a whole bunch of points into guns for a while anyways. Especially because early on... Especially... I can't speak English. In this game there's a lot of conflict you can resolve with speech. A lot of uh, quests that don't even involve killing anyone if you don't want to. Uh, the main reason you want to get guns leveled up at some point in this game is just to survive out in the wasteland. But I'm going to drink all my Sunset Sarsaparilla. But early on in the game, when you're not doing that much, um, that much like trekking around in the in the wasteland, then. That's the time to focus on your science, your speech, lockpick. 
Stuff like that. That's one thing I can't decide if I... Ooh. If I like or dislike in this game is the sort of reliance on speech compared to Fallout 3. Because on one hand, it adds a bit of uh, a bit of depth and in ooh, and makes speech actually worth putting points into, whereas in um, whereas in Fallout. 3, three there's really no reason to go speech it's always just that skill i put points into when i've got everything else maxed out and then there's like two speech checks in the whole game that actually mean something and one of them is in the operation anchorage dlc so not very worthwhile and yeah going to strength Because perks in New Vegas are not as all-powerful as they are in Fallout 3. I think part of the reason is because you only get them once every... Oh shit, I forgot the whole reason we came over here. Uh, part of the reason is because you only get them once every other level in this game. Whereas in Fallout 3 you got them every level. And they're just not as powerful in general. Like Grim Reaper Sprint in Fallout 3 is overpowered. But in this game it's... I don't know, I've never found it to be that useful in this game. But who knows? Maybe that's just me. Uh, I'm, you know, I was talking about um, mods and my, I guess, dislike of mods earlier. But one mod I'm very excited for is Fallout for New Vegas, is that what it's called? Um, basically that remake of Fallout New Vegas in Fallout 4. That's That looks very exciting to me. Uh, I'll definitely look into that and maybe I'll make videos on it. If I can even figure out how to install it. I don't use mod managers for the few mods that I do use. I've always preferred to just manual install, but for most of Bethesda's games, any tutorial I can find on it just tells you to use a mod manager, but I don't know. I I just don't like giving stuff, giving control away like that, you know? I just prefer to do everything myself. I don't trust those automated programs and stuff like that, but maybe that's just one way in which I'm weird. Maybe just spilling my guts over the course of this playthrough, somebody's gonna diagnose me with some, <laughs> some uh, personality disorder. What the hell? Jesus Christ! You gotta like how a lot of the Fallout monster design is just creatures we have in real life, but bigger. Like the bloatflies and the rad roaches. Jesus Christ. But fair enough. I've... Maybe that is how radiation works. I'm not. I'm not a physicist. There's, I think, a snow globe in here somewhere. Ah, right there. Hell yeah. You found a limited edition Mojave Landmark snow globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. The snow globes are the weirdest fucking thing that they put in this game. Like, I guess it's just a way to get extra caps, but I don't know. Seems like a lot of effort to put in for not that much, especially when you just gamble. But, wait. Oh my god, it's tiny! Look at this thing! Alright, then he's got somewhere to be, clearly. 
Ooh, what's going on, Sonny? Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay. Sweet. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. I'll be sure to do that. And I am never going to use one of these campfires ever again. Does anyone actually bother with this sort of thing? Like, maybe, maybe this is one of the reasons to play hardcore. Wait, what? You can make armor? I never knew about that. Holy shit. Yeah, maybe this is one of the reasons you... Play, uh, play hardcore as this stuff is actually useful. But for me, not very useful. How are my stats looking, by the way? Or skills? Explosives. Alright. All right, I think uh, that's it for episode one. Just wanted to get my get my toes in the water, sort of start everything off, and hopefully this is going to be one hell of a playthrough. <laughs> I love Fallout New Vegas. I love Fallout. Everybody likes Fallout. Um, yeah, welcome to the playthrough. I hope to see you all next time.